Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. You can make one common mistake that can cost you hundreds, even thousands of dollars in repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. And today will be a super helpful video to any vehicle having a Toyota Corolla that generation here from year 2013 to year 2019. If you have one of those, if you need to find where the AC clutch uh, fuse is located, guys, which fuses you need to check up to three of them. We'll explain where you can find them in two different fuse boxes, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays, at a good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste money and time. Why it's important to always test fuses and relays. All that, guys, will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to do engine work, transmission, mechanical, body work, anything you can think of practically. On this channel specifically, we'll be making at least 150 to 200 videos about that Toyota Corolla, that generation, guys. If you have one of those, we'll be making a video for every single fuse, every single relay. Let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, your car does not want to start, you can, and uh, you find out that the fuel pump is bad, you're not getting fuel, you can just search for fuel pump uh, relay, fuel pump fuse really quickly, watch the video, spend a minute or two, replace it, you're back on the road because uh, the writings on the fuse boxes. Uh, are very vague and most people will not even know uh, what they mean so uh, we will be making videos about uh, every possible fusion uh, relay in that Toyota Corolla so let's start on it now so the AC clutch fuses where you can expect to find them we will guys demonstrate on that generation Toyota Corolla here you guys have multiple fuse boxes but today we work in two of them the first one is on the driver's side, open the door. Once you open the driver door, you will need to look under the dash on the left side. Look upside down on the very bottom of the dash, you will find one white cover that will look like this one. You need to remove it. Underneath, you will find the main interior fuse box with a layout like this one here. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so the ac clutch guys okay which fuses you need to check here specifically one fuse we need to check here then we need to go to a different fuse box and check two more that's fuse 1 through 16 that's 17 through 32 the fuse that we need to check is 17 18 19 20 1 2 3 4 5 6 fuse number 26 that fuse here then you need to open the hood on your toyota corolla once you open the hood facing the engine, okay, you have that uh, cover on the right side, open it. That's the main engine fuse box here, guys. Oh, if you need to buy fuses, relays, parts, tools, free on, AC compressors, anything for Toyota Corolla or any car at a really good price, quick shipping, we're going to put the link in the description of the video below for your convenience, guys. Check it out, that way you do not waste your money and time. If we zoom in a little bit, the fuse that you need to check here is fuse number one. And then you have another one that you need to check and that's fuse number 27 here. Hopefully guys the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time. 